But the first time I ever saw the place, it was walking down this driveway. The FBI let me out of a tank back there at the gate and asked me if they wanted body armor. I said, no, I'm not afraid of them. And who were you going to meet? Well, I was going to meet David Koresh. What did he say to you? Well, he said hello. Well, we shook hands. And um, we talked for hours. Did you know he was wounded? Yes, he showed me his wounds. He was wounded in the left hand, and he was also wounded in the left side. That looked nice. What did he want, and what advice did you give him on that first day? Well, what he wanted was safety for himself and everybody else. And then what it seemed to me was that they had a good defense of excessive force being used. There were more than 70 ATF officers approaching with firearms and military helmets. In your definition, is that excessive force? Oh, that, it certainly is. It never should have happened that way. When I walked up on that gravel and then started inside, my feet started crunching not on gravel but on expended shells. Bullet holes everywhere. All the windows on the second floor were shot out. And that's where the women were. What's the controversy about the front door of the Branch Division? Well, the Com door looked a lot like this one. I saw that door. I sat by that door for hours. It was all incoming rounds. I don't know what happened to the front door. That front door would have told the tale. Do you believe that there has been a cover-up, a Waco gate, as some people have described it? I don't know, but I, uh, you know, I have questions. Where is that door? It's gone. What do you mean it's gone? It's gone. It's, it's disappeared. Nobody knows where it is. The FBI says that David Koresh broke at least three promises to surrender. Isn't that evidence that he had no intention of coming out, that he wanted this to end? in the end of days, the all-consuming fire. No, I, I think uh, David Koresh was in love with himself enough to not want to die. I don't think he wanted to die, and I don't think he wanted to kill his followers. I just don't think that's true. And David, lead the flock out the front door, and this is over. Well, that's what should have done. <laughs>